Hey guys, it's SGT Nickel here again. And today I'm going to go over uh, basic ways of how to make coffee without power. Um, quite often you'll often want to maybe use this if you're at home with a power outage. Um, camping, it can be done. Um, I'd recommend going with uh, maybe tin cans. This isn't the only way to do it. You can have two tin cans. You poke holes in the bottom of one and you, one's your filter and one's your vestibule and you just stack them on top of each other. Put your coffee grounds in a filter in the top, you pour your hot water and it soaks right through and then you get up with your coffee in the bottom. Um, this is an easier method I made up just because I had a few items. I have a percolator. The percolator um, isn't working in my scenario, but I was able to take the, the coffee maker or the, the coffee pot part of it. What I took was an old itchy band type soup container, any kind of, um, you know, Basically, this one was for udon, but any kind of soup container, you can use a um, two-liter pop bottle, the top cut off as a funnel. I don't recommend using plastics. This is a biodegradable plant cellulose one. Um, it's probably a little healthier to run boiling water through. The thing about plastic is when you run boiling water through, or any kind of liquid, but boiling water especially, is you're leaching out the plastics, and you end up with that in your, your liquid. So that I don't recommend. I just basically took my very simple knife here, just cut some holes in the bottom, nothing fancy, just real simple, just a strainer, that's all it is. And in my scenario, I don't have coffee filters, um, you can also use paper towel, um, this stuff probably isn't the absolute healthiest, but once in a while it's not going to hurt you, I've done it lots. Um, you just basically put your paper towel inside the bowl. Just like so, that's your coffee filter. This is your filter um, holder, and then your, your pot to catch in. Save time, I ground a bunch of coffee in a pedestal because if you don't have po uh, power, you're not going to be able to use your coffee grinder. And I have full beans, so I just saved some time. I did it before. I've got a bunch of ground coffee in this pedestal. Just going to dump that just right there on top. Make sure it's all in there. And very simple, you take your boiling water, I just already boiled this, this has been just taken off the, uh, the, the wood fire or stove, gas stove, whatever, whatever you can boil water on. Um, sometimes a fireplace will even work. And then you just add your hot water to your grounds, and just let it soak through and you'll have to periodically add, add more, more to it as you go. But as you can see, it's just percolating it's dribbling through and I'm getting what looks like very good coffee. So this takes a little while but as you see I'm getting my coffee here. Oh well, takes a little bit of time. Um it's just uh no different than your electronic coffee maker, only you're taking out the pump, of course, and you've taken out the element, and you've become all of that. So, you can't really leave, well, you can leave it for short periods, but when this is, you know, you're going to have to keep adding water to it until you're full. It's just, um, you know, when you're sitting out in the woods, this is a pretty easy thing to do. Uh, I can understand if you're on your way to work and you had to get packed, this might not, you know, getting all dressed and stuff, this might not be <laughs> your option. But anyway, just thought I'd show sort of a simple way to make coffee. When this is done, I'm going to be having coffee this morning. So, anyway, thought I'd show a basic hillbilly coffee maker.